Anna, weather is very good today. Shall we go to zoo together? Yes. That's great idea. Let's go. John. Thanks for bringing me to the zoo. I can't wait to see those lovely animals. Hey Anna, look at that monkey over there. He's scratching his head like he's trying to solve a calculus problem. Ha, yeah, he looks like he's really deep in thought. Maybe he's trying to figure out how to escape from here. Escape? I don't think that's a good idea. Remember that time we tried to escape from the zoo when we were kids and we got lost for hours? Oh yeah, I remember that. We ended up in the bird section and those parrots wouldn't stop mimicking our voices. Ha, huh, those were some talkative birds. Speaking of which, have you seen the penguins? They look like they're dressed for a fancy ball. Yeah, they're so cute. I bet they're the best dressed animals in the zoo. Do you think they know how to dance? I don't know, but I'd love to see them do the tango. Maybe we can teach them some moves. Ha, ah, that would be quite a sight. Let's stick around and see if they're up for it. Hey, look over there. It's the pandas. They're just lounging around and eating bamboo. I wish I could be that lazy. I know, right? It's like they have no worries in the world. Just eat, sleep, and repeat. Yeah, but imagine if we could eat all day without gaining any weight. That would be the dream. Ha, huh, I think you're describing a superpower there, John. But speaking of pandas, did you know that they're actually really good climbers? Really? I thought all they did was eat and sleep. Nope, they're expert climbers. They can climb trees and even swim if they need to. They're pretty agile for their size. Wow, I never would have guessed. Maybe we should try climbing like pandas and see if we're as good as they are. I think we should stick to walking on two legs, John. We don't want to end up embarrassing ourselves in front of the animals. Hey Anna, check out the lion over there. He looks like the king of the jungle, doesn't he? Yeah, he's definitely got that regal look. But let's be honest, he's just sleeping like a lazy house cat. Huh, yeah, I guess he's taking a cat nap. But you know what they say, let sleeping lions lie. True. We definitely don't want to disturb him. I don't think I could outrun a lion if he got angry with us. Me neither, but I bet we could outrun some of the other animals here. Like that slow-moving tortoise over there. Hey, be nice to the tortoise. He's probably been around longer than both of us combined. He deserves some respect. You're right, I'm sorry Mr. Tortoise. But I think we can both agree that the lion is the real star of the zoo. Absolutely, I don't think anyone messes with the lion. Except maybe the zookeepers when it's time for his checkup. Hey Anna, have you seen the crocodile exhibit? It's over by the pond. Yeah, I saw it earlier. Those crocs look pretty scary. I wouldn't want to mess with them. Definitely not. But did you know that crocodiles have been around for millions of years? 
They're like living fossils. Wow, that's pretty impressive. I guess they're the ultimate survivors. Yeah, but they're also known for their sharp teeth and strong jaws. I wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of a crocodile bite. Me neither. But you know what they say, if you're ever chased by a crocodile, run in a zigzag pattern. That way, it can't catch you. Ah, I don't think that's true Anna. I think we should stick to just admiring them from a safe distance. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. Let's just enjoy the crocs from the comfort of our own feet, and not become part of their dinner. Hey Anna, have you seen the shark tank? It's supposed to be one of the highlights of the zoo. Yeah, I saw it earlier. Those sharks look really cool, but also kind of scary. I wouldn't want to be in the water with them. Me neither. But did you know that sharks have been around for over 400 million years? They're like the ultimate predators. Wow, that's pretty impressive. But you know what they say, don't mess with a shark or you'll end up in a fishy situation. Oh, I think you mean fins, instead of fishy. But yeah, I wouldn't want to mess with a shark. They're pretty intimidating. Definitely. But did you also know that sharks have a sixth sense? They can sense electrical fields in the water, which helps them find prey. That's pretty cool. I wish I had a sixth sense like that. Maybe I'd be better at finding my keys when I misplace them. Huh, yeah. But let's stick to admiring the sharks from the safety of the tank. I don't think we're ready for a close encounter with them just yet. Hey Anna, have you seen the whale exhibit? It's supposed to be one of the biggest in the world. Yeah, I saw it earlier. Those whales are huge. It's hard to imagine how big they really are until you see them up close. Definitely. But did you know that the blue whale is the largest animal in the world? It can grow up to 100 feet long. Wow, that's insane. I can't even imagine how big that is. It's like the size of a whole football field. Yeah, and their hearts are the size of a small car. Imagine having a heart that big, Anna. Ha, huh, I don't think I would be able to fit through doorways if my heart was that big. But you know what they say, when you're feeling down, just remember that you're not as big as a blue whale. Hey Anna, have you seen the jellyfish exhibit? It's over by the aquarium. Yeah, I saw it earlier. Those jellyfish are so mesmerizing. It's like watching a lava lamp, but in real life. Definitely. But did you know that jellyfish don't have brains? They're basically just a big bundle of nerves. Wow, that's interesting. I guess that's why they're not exactly the brightest creatures in the sea. Yeah, but they do have some cool tricks up their sleeves. Did you know that some jellyfish can glow in the dark? Really? That's amazing. They're like the disco ball of the ocean. Ah, I like that analogy. But you know what they say, if you ever get stung by a jellyfish, pee on it to relieve the pain. E.W., John, I don't think that's true. And even if it is, 
I'm not going to pee on you if you get stung. Ha, huh, don't worry Anna, I'll make sure to avoid the jellyfish at all costs. Let's just enjoy their beauty from afar. Okay. Thanks John. Hey Anna, have you seen the penguin exhibit? It's over by the Antarctic section. Yeah, I saw it earlier. Those penguins are so cute. I just want to hug them all. Ah, uh, I don't think they would appreciate that. But did you know that penguins mate for life? They're like the ultimate power couple. Really? That's so sweet. I guess that's why they're always seen waddling around together. Yeah, and they're also pretty funny creatures. Did you know that some penguins can slide on their bellies for over 100 feet? No way, that's amazing. They're like the Olympic athletes of the penguin world. Ah, I like that analogy. But you know what they say, if you ever see a penguin in the desert, it's probably lost. Ha, huh, I don't think they would survive very long in the heat. Let's just stick to seeing them in their natural habitat and appreciate their cuteness from afar. Hey Anna, have you seen the polar bear exhibit? It's over in the Arctic section. Yeah, I saw it earlier. Those polar bears are massive. It's crazy to think that they can survive in such cold temperatures. Definitely. But did you know that polar bears have transparent fur? It only looks white because it reflects light. Wow, that's amazing. I guess that's why they're so well camouflaged in the snow. Yeah, and they're also pretty fierce predators. Did you know that they can swim for over 60 miles without stopping? No way, that's insane. They're like the Michael Phelps of the animal kingdom. Ah, uh, I like that analogy. But you know what they say, never play poker with a polar bear. They're always sitting on a bunch of ice. Ha, huh, I don't think I would want to play poker with a polar bear, John. Let's just admire them from afar and appreciate their unique abilities. Hey Anna, have you seen the seal exhibit? It's over by the beach section. Yeah, I saw it earlier. Those seals are so cute. I just want to take one home with me. Ah, uh, I don't think that's a good idea, Anna. But did you know that seals can hold their breath for up to two hours? Really? That's incredible. They're like the free divers of the sea. Yeah, and they're also pretty funny creatures. Did you know that some seals can talk by making sounds that sound like human speech? No way, that's amazing. They're like the parrots of the ocean. Ah, uh, I like that analogy. But you know what they say, never trust a seal with a ball. They'll take it and run. Ha, huh, I don't think I've ever heard that one before, John. But let's just enjoy their playful nature from afar and not try to steal their toys. Hey Anna, have you seen the eagle exhibit? It's over by the aviary section. Yeah, I saw it earlier. Those eagles are so majestic. 
It's amazing how they can fly so high and see everything from above. Definitely. But did you know that eagles have incredible eyesight? They can see four to eight times better than humans. Wow, that's impressive. They're like the superheroes of the bird world. Yeah, and they're also pretty fierce hunters. Did you know that some eagles can hunt prey that is three times their own weight? No way, that's insane. They're like the lions of the sky. Ah, uh, I like that analogy. But you know what they say, never play hide and seek with an eagle. They'll always spot you. Ha, ah, that's a good one, John. Let's just admire their strength and beauty from afar and not try to challenge them to any games. Hey Anna, have you seen the parrot exhibit? It's over in the tropical bird section. Yeah, I saw it earlier. Those parrots are so colorful and talkative. I wish I could have one as a pet. Ah, yeah they're pretty entertaining. But did you know that parrots can live up to 80 years in captivity? Wow, that's incredible. They're like the Methuselahs of the bird world. Yeah, and they're also pretty intelligent creatures. Did you know that some parrots can solve complex puzzles and even learn how to use tools? No way, that's amazing. They're like the MacGyvers of the bird world. Ah, uh, I like that analogy. But you know what they say, never try to teach a parrot how to drive. They always end up in the bird lane. Ha, ah, that's a good one, John. Let's just appreciate their beauty and intelligence from afar and not try to give them any driving lessons. Hey Anna, have you seen the monkey exhibit? It's over in the primate section. Yeah, I saw it earlier. Those monkeys are so cute and funny. I love watching them swing around and play with each other. Definitely. But did you know that monkeys are actually really smart? They can recognize themselves in a mirror and even use tools to solve problems. Wow, that's impressive. They're like the MacGyvers of the jungle. Ha, I like that analogy. But you know what they say, never trust a monkey with your phone. They always end up taking selfies. Ha, that's hilarious, John. Let's just enjoy their playful nature from afar and not let them get their hands on our technology. Hey Anna, have you seen the gorilla exhibit? It's over in the great apes section. Yeah, I saw it earlier. Those gorillas are so massive and powerful. It's kind of intimidating being so close to them. Yeah, but did you know that gorillas are actually gentle giants? They're known to be very social creatures and even have been observed showing empathy and compassion towards each other. Wow, that's really interesting. They're like the caretakers of the jungle. Definitely. But you know what they say, never challenge a gorilla to an arm wrestling contest. You'll always come up short. Ha, ah, that's funny, John. Let's just appreciate their strength and intelligence from afar and not try to get too close for comfort. Hey Anna, have you seen the tiger exhibit? It's over in the big cat section. 
Yeah, I saw it earlier. Those tigers are so majestic and fierce. It's amazing how they can move so gracefully despite their size. Definitely. But did you know that tigers are actually quite lazy animals? They can sleep up to 20 hours a day. Wow, that's surprising. They're like the couch potatoes of the jungle. Ah, I like that analogy. But you know what they say, never play hide and seek with a tiger. They'll always find you, even if you're a good hider. Ha, ah, that's a good one, John. Let's just admire their beauty and power from afar and not try to challenge them to any games. Hey Anna, have you seen the cheetah exhibit? It's over in the big cat section. Yeah, I saw it earlier. Those cheetahs are so fast and graceful. It's incredible how they can reach speeds of up to 70 miles per hour. Definitely. But did you know that cheetahs are actually pretty shy animals? They're known to be very cautious and avoid confrontations. Wow, that's surprising. They're like the introverts of the big cat world. Ah, I like that analogy. But you know what they say, never challenge a cheetah to a race. You'll always come in last place. Ha, ah, that's a good one, John. Let's just appreciate their speed and beauty from afar and not try to race them. Hey Anna, have you seen the hyena exhibit? It's over in the African animals section. Yeah, I saw it earlier. Those hyenas are so interesting. They have such a unique laugh-like vocalization. Definitely. But did you know that hyenas are actually very smart and cunning animals? They're known to be excellent hunters and can even take down animals much larger than themselves. Wow, that's impressive. They're like the strategists of the savanna. Ah, I like that analogy. But you know what they say, never invite a hyena to a comedy show. They'll always steal the spotlight with their laughter. Ha, ah, that's funny, John. Let's just enjoy their unique vocalization and not try to compete with them in the laughter department. Hey Anna, have you seen the rhino exhibit? It's over in the African animals section. Yeah, I saw it earlier. Those rhinos are so massive and intimidating. It's amazing how they can use their horns for defense and offense. Definitely. But did you know that rhinos have very poor eyesight? They rely mostly on their sense of smell and hearing to navigate their surroundings. Wow, that's surprising. They're like the nearsighted giants of the savanna. Ah, I like that analogy. But you know what they say, never challenge a rhino to a staring contest. You'll always win, even if you blink. Ha, ah, that's a good one, John. Let's just appreciate their strength and beauty from afar and not try to compete with them in the visual acuity department. Hey Anna, have you seen the zebra exhibit? It's over in the African animals section. Yeah, I saw it earlier. Those zebras are so unique with their black and white striped coats. It's like they're wearing pajamas. 
Definitely. But did you know that each zebra has a unique pattern of stripes? It's like their own personal fashion statement. Wow, that's fascinating. They're like the trendsetters of the savannah. Ah, I like that analogy. But you know what they say, never tell a zebra a secret. They'll always spill the stripes. Ha, ah, that's a good one, John. Let's just admire their fashionable stripes and not try to keep any secrets from them. Hey Anna, have you seen the kangaroo exhibit? It's over in the Australian animals section. Yeah, I saw it earlier. Those kangaroos are so fascinating with their long tails and powerful hind legs. It's like they're built for hopping. Definitely. But did you know that kangaroos are actually very good swimmers? They use their powerful legs to kick and propel themselves through the water. Wow, that's impressive. They're like the Michael Phelps of the marsupial world. Ah, I like that analogy. But you know what they say, never challenge a kangaroo to a jumping contest. You'll always come up short. Ha, ah, that's a good one, John. Let's just watch them hop around and not try to compete with them in the jumping department. Hey Anna, have you seen the snake exhibit? It's over in the reptile house. Yeah, I saw it earlier. Those snakes are so creepy with their slithery movements and flickering tongues. It's like they're always up to something. Definitely. But did you know that some snakes can actually fly? Well, not really fly, but they can glide through the air from tree to tree using their scales to create lift. Wow, that's terrifying. They're like the ninja warriors of the reptile world. Ah, uh, I like that analogy. But you know what they say, never trust a snake with a secret. They always hiss and tell. Ha, ah, that's a good one, John. Let's just admire their unique abilities and not try to keep any secrets from them. Hey Anna, have you seen the horse exhibit? It's over in the domestic animals section. Yeah, I saw it earlier. Those horses are so majestic with their flowing manes and muscular bodies. It's like they're the kings and queens of the barnyard. Definitely. But did you know that horses can actually sleep standing up? It's because their legs have a special locking mechanism that allows them to do so without falling over. Wow, that's incredible. They're like the power nappers of the animal kingdom. Ah, I like that analogy. But you know what they say, never trust a horse to keep your secrets. They always naysay. Ha, ah, that's a good one, John. Let's just appreciate their beauty and not try to entrust them with any sensitive information. Hey Anna, have you seen the lizard exhibit? It's over in the reptile house. Yeah, I saw it earlier. Those lizards are so fascinating with their colorful scales and long tails. It's like they're miniature dragons. Definitely. But did you know that some lizards can actually regrow their tails if they lose them? It's like they have a built-in spare part. Wow, that's amazing. 
They're like the superheroes of the reptile world. Ah, I like that analogy. But you know what they say, never play a game of hide and seek with a lizard. They always blend in and you'll never find them. Ha, huh, that's a good one, John. Let's just admire their unique abilities and not try to challenge them in a game of camouflage. Hey Anna, have you seen the rabbit exhibit? It's over in the small mammals section. Yeah, I saw it earlier. Those rabbits are so cute with their fluffy tails and wiggly noses. It's like they're always ready for a photo shoot. Definitely. But did you know that rabbits can actually jump up to three times their body length? It's like they're the high jump champions of the animal kingdom. Wow, that's impressive. They're like the Olympians of the bunny world. Ah, I like that analogy. But you know what they say, never trust a rabbit with a carrot. They always have a hidden agenda. Ha, ah, that's a good one, John. Let's just appreciate their cuteness and not try to negotiate any deals with them. Hey Anna, have you seen the deer exhibit? It's over in the forest animals section. Yeah, I saw it earlier. Those deer are so graceful with their delicate legs and antlers. It's like they're the ballerinas of the woodland. Definitely. But did you know that deer can actually run up to 45 miles per hour? It's like they're the Usain Bolt of the animal kingdom. Wow, that's incredible. They're like the speed demons of the forest. Ah, I like that analogy. But you know what they say, never trust a deer with your garden. They always have a taste for the forbidden fruits. Ha, ah, that's a good one, John. Let's just admire their beauty and not try to compete with them for any vegetation. Hey Anna, have you seen the wolf exhibit? It's over in the carnivore section. Yeah, I saw it earlier. Those wolves are so majestic with their thick fur and piercing eyes. It's like they're the kings of the wilderness. Definitely. But did you know that wolves can actually communicate with each other over long distances by howling? It's like they have their own language. Wow, that's fascinating. They're like the poets of the pack. Ah, I like that analogy. But you know what they say, never play poker with a wolf. They always have a tell. Ha, ah, that's a good one, John. Let's just observe their behavior and not try to challenge them in any games of chance. Hey Anna, have you seen the hamster exhibit? It's over in the rodent section. Yeah, I saw it earlier. Those hamsters are so adorable with their tiny paws and cute little noses. It's like they're the pocket pets of the animal kingdom. Definitely. But did you know that hamsters can actually store food in their cheeks for later? It's like they're the squirrels of the rodent world. Wow, that's funny. They're like the hoarders of the hamster habitat. Ah, I like that analogy. But you know what they say, never challenge a hamster to a race. They always have the home field advantage. Ha, ah, that's a good one, John. 
Let's just appreciate their cuteness and not try to compete with them in any athletic events. Hey Anna, have you seen the bear exhibit? It's over in the large mammals section. Yeah, I saw it earlier. Those bears are so big and fluffy with their fur coats. It's like they're the cuddly giants of the forest. Definitely. But did you know that bears can actually run faster than humans? It's like they're the sprinters of the wilderness. Wow, that's impressive. They're like the Usain Bolt of the bear world. Ah, I like that analogy. But you know what they say, never give a bear a high five. It might just turn into a bear hug. Ha, ah, that's a good one, John. Let's just admire their strength and not try to get too close to them. Hey Anna, have you seen the giraffe exhibit? It's over in the savannah section. Yeah, I saw it earlier. Those giraffes are so tall with their long necks. It's like they're the supermodels of the animal kingdom. Definitely. But did you know that giraffes only need about 30 minutes of sleep a day? It's like they're the insomniacs of the savannah. Wow, that's interesting. They're like the CEOs of the animal world, always on the go. Ah, I like that analogy. But you know what they say, never play hide and seek with a giraffe. They always stick their necks out. Ha, ah, that's a good one, John. Let's just appreciate their unique beauty and not try to challenge them to any games. Hey Anna, have you seen the elephant exhibit? It's over in the African elephant section. Yeah, I saw it earlier. Those elephants are so huge and majestic with their big ears and long trunks. It's like they're the kings of the jungle. Well, technically they're the kings of the savannah. But did you know that elephants can actually recognize themselves in mirrors? It's like they're the philosophers of the animal kingdom. Wow, that's impressive. They're like the Descartes of the savannah. Ah, I like that analogy. But you know what they say, never trust an elephant with a secret. They always forget to keep it. Ha, ah, that's a good one, John. Let's just admire their intelligence and not try to keep any secrets from them. Hey Anna, have you ever wondered if Pokemon count as animals? Hmm, that's a good question. They're certainly not real animals, but they do share some characteristics with them. Yeah, they have different shapes, sizes, and abilities, just like real animals do. But then again, they can also use moves like Thunderbolt and Fire Blast, which is not something real animals can do. True. So maybe they're like a hybrid between animals and something else entirely. Maybe. But one thing's for sure, they definitely capture our imaginations and bring us joy. That's for sure. And who knows, maybe someday we'll discover real animals that are just as amazing as Pokemon. Or maybe we'll just have to settle for playing more Pokemon games and watching more Pokemon movies. Huh. Sounds like a plan to me.
please like and subscribe. And welcome to watch more videos from our channel.